Um, this newer technology that we have as part of the mirror system is called Reveal. And um, what Reveal is, is it allows us to take a patient's picture and it'll also bring out, after the pictures are taken, um, skin pathology such as um, dark marks in the skin that are a result of sun damage as well as hypervascularity which also come from aging and sun exposure. Those two things are treated differently from different technologies, different type of late laser light beams. Um, and with our new Ultra Pulse CO2 laser, we've been having almost every patient that has the procedure done first have the reveal done to document their sun damage uh, prior to proceeding with the, op uh, the actual surgical or laser treatment. So today we're here with Lori, and uh, Lori's a volunteer to uh, be, uh, have her photos taken with the reveal. So Lori, I just want you to put your chin on that. Um, and just, we're going to have you close your eyes. You're going to see a potentially a couple bright lights flash and stay just like you are and that's it okay so we've captured a number of uh, pictures of Lori's face and um, looking at her skin we can see some close-up definition of the sun spots on her face you can see some of the fine lines that are brought out and um, you can see some areas of hypervascularity and some other fine lines around the mouth. And Lori's um, going to be a candidate for Ultra Pulse Laser, which is going to tighten and improve these lines here, get rid of some of the freckles and brown marks from the sun exposure. But the neat thing about this program is I'm going to push on the red areas, and what it's going to do is it's going to bring out and enhance all the areas of Lori's face that have red marks. So it shows everything in red. That's obviously not all abnormal skin. But if you look at a few little spots that are really red, like these dots here, these are areas where there's hypervascularity or uh, telangiectasia or small little blood vessels. For instance, this is one area here that you can see, and if we go back to the first image, if you look really close here, you can see there is sort of a little blood vessel here. And uh, similarly, if you go on her nose, there's a couple areas of hypervascularity and here on the forehead. And what happens is with the sun damage, you get, first of all, a bit of a tan. Then you start getting some brown spots. And the brown spots can camouflage the red spots. You don't always see the red spots as clearly. So what this is doing, it's separating out the browns from the reds because the treatment for each of them is going to be different. The red marks are going to be treated with intense pulse light therapy, which is a different technology, and the brown spots and the fine lines are going to be treated with the Ultra Pulse CO2 laser. So we'll click on the brown marks here, and it's going to show everything in brown, and, and her skin's actually, despite getting quite a lot of sun exposure, reasonably evenly brown, and if you look in certain areas on the nose here where she's got um, more freckles, you can see increased pigment in this area here. And a couple areas on the forehead, these dark, dark parts here are areas that the laser will improve. And similarly around the mouth, you can see some areas of increased um, pigment in the skin. So in summary, this technology is basically useful for documenting patients' flaws in their skin. It allows us to get a good close-up photo and document their facial features, the fine lines, and it allows us to keep a, a um, standardized photography system with computer with the computer records to assess not only the before procedure appearance of someone's face but allow it to monitor the success of the procedure. Some of the procedures that we do such as laser, Botox, fillers, patients have a tendency to possibly forget their starting point. This allows us to document clearly the starting point, define the areas that potentially we can improve and then see how successful the therapies are as we go through the, the treatment. Great.